Well, who'd have guessed? I actually had a really fun time making the video the other day. And now I'm sitting here on my day off and I'm thinking, I want to make another video. So yeah, well, I think uh, I'm just going to keep going with it. Today's plan is to check out the N50 art space. I don't know much about it. I've never been. But it's been described to me as like this kind of overrun ghetto that's just kind of been taken over by some artists trying to sell their art and things that effect. I've been told it's quite interesting appealing so I really want to check it out. It's going to be filmed on my phone though because I want to use my main rig to practice my improv filming and also to practice using the Steadicam which is quite difficult. In any case I think I'm going to cut straight to there because I don't want this to be a super long video so we'll see you over there. So I'm outside the metro station where my hotel was when I first came to Shanghai, the railway station. I haven't been here for like 10 months and it's crazy to compare now and then because back then everything was so fresh and new and foreign and exciting and now it's not so fresh anymore you're kind of used to it but being in this area makes me feel like I did when I first came here which is pretty cool. In any case I'm not lost I know where I am and I know that my destination is west from me across a river but where that river is <laughs> That's another question. So, I guess Q travel montage. So, not much of a travel montage as it turns out I was literally one road down from it. I uh, haven't seen anything particularly ghetto yet or arty. So, camera's still in the bag but I'll, uh, I'll keep looking. It's a reasonably large area so I'm sure I'll find something really cool soon. I've been told it's pretty low security so I've got friends who you know climb on top of buildings and things here so I'll see what I can get up to. No promises though. Work the pen to make the ink transform on any particular surface the pen lands on. I care if it's hands on. Bust the beef, the coolie high code cheeks, high post techniques. I drape off poetic landscapes and shapes. Illustrate the paper space, all the pens that paint. The design would have it National Geographic, the magic with tailor made status and plus flavor that's automatic. Uh. So, I mean, not amazing, but I guess it's a pretty cool anyway. So, I figured now's as good a time as any practice some walking shots with the Steadicam. Now the thing about Steadicam is the balance is incredibly sensitive. So the idea is you have the counterweight at the bottom and the gimbal up here. The counterweight keeps it steady, the gimbal keeps it smooth and you get a nice clean, a nice clean smooth shot without all of the shaky hand stuff. But you do have to balance it first. This isn't far off. It's a bit of a game on millimeters. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll see what it looks like. So it's pretty cool. It's quite different to where I live. I live in Lujia's Way, which is like the CBD. I mean, down the road from me is the world's second tallest tower. So it's very new, very modern, very green. Whereas this is under construction. Those little pop-up blocks there you see next to all the workers, those are actually the accommodation. It's called a migrant village. And you actually get about eight to 10 of them all sleeping in there in bunks. I don't have a lot of information about the subject, but I'll link to a Jayo video who does a pretty good explanation of migrant villages. In fact, I didn't even notice them until he posted about them, and now I see them everywhere. It's pretty crazy. But apparently they get paid pretty well, so I don't really have a lot of information to, to give you on that. But I'm going to keep filming with the Steadicam. I try to get on some of the roofs and stuff, but it's a Saturday, so there's kind of people everywhere. I don't think I'd get away with it so much. Maybe I'll grab a coffee. I mean, this is a pretty hip place, right? If there's going to be good coffee anywhere in China, this, this has to be the place. So, we'll see how it goes, eh? So there's three things that makes this difficult. The first is the balance. 
like getting it so that it's not leaning forward, backwards, left or right. It's literally less than millimeters. The next thing is how you hold it because you've got to touch it ever so gently so that you can keep it on focus, on target. But at the same time, if you touch it too hard, it's going to pick up the wobbles in your step and what's the point of a steady cam? The last thing is you've got to walk like a... Trying to go, you know, real smooth motion so that you don't jump around. To film with the steady cam in public is to make a bit of a fool of yourself. There's no two ways about it, but if you get good at it, the result is amazing footage. So, you know, who cares about face, right? So it's growing on me, I guess. The longer I'm here, the more I like it. I feel like I'm running out of things to shoot, although having said that, it's not like I've shot much, just alleyway shots. I'm really just trying to focus on keeping the steady cam steady. So I'm not trying to do anything, you know, I'm not trying to reinvent film at the moment. I just want to learn the tool and then I'll reinvent the wheel, I guess, or, you know, master making wheels in the first place. <laughs> uh, I am running out of battery, which means I've got to end it shortly. I'll try to get a few more shots for you and call it a day. Coffee's good. Alright team, back at home now. Just gonna sign off, but before I do, thought I'd let you know. In the next few days, I'm leaving for Australia. Gonna be there from April 3rd to 11th for my brother's wedding. I can't wait, I haven't seen him in over a year. Haven't seen my family in almost a year, the rest of them. And I've never been to Australia, so every part of this trip, I'm really looking forward to. I am gonna try and post some videos, because I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of cool stuff for me to film. But, um, I don't know how often or how many I can't make any promises. But other than that, I just wanted to remind you, please leave a comment. I really appreciate it. Give me some feedback so I know what to do. What do you like? What do you want to see more of? And I'll try to incorporate that in the future. Who wants to make a video that no one wants to watch, right? Remember team, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Make your mothers proud. And thanks for watching, eh?